welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? You having a good day? So as you guys can see by the title, we are gonna be doing a tour of all of my enclosures for all of my animals in this entire room. I've never done this video before, but I have so many of you guys always asking me what size tank is Moo in, what size tank is Koa in, and so I thought that I would make a video tour of all of them explaining to you guys what size they are, where I got them, and about how much they cost, to the best that I can remember. If you guys enjoy this tour of all of my pets' enclosures, be sure to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. Before we get into the video, I do want to tell you guys about the newest addition to this room, which I'm really excited about. Before we get started, I do want to give a special thanks to the sponsor of this video, a company named Lavoit. They recently sent me my newest addition to this pet room, and I cannot wait to show you guys. I have wanted one of these for so long. So Lavoit was nice enough to send me an air purifier for my pet room to use in here to keep the air pure, obviously, for my animals. And I am so excited. I have been looking into getting an air purifier for so long because obviously air quality is really important for animals, especially if you have a bird in particular. Obviously I don't have my bird, but this company was so nice and they sent me an air purifier. So I am so excited to show you guys that air purifier today. As you can see, they packaged it really nicely and the assembly was extremely easy. There was only two things that I really had to open and unwrap and that was it. So before we get started on the enclosure tour, I do want to show you guys the newest addition to the pet room. I am so excited to finally have this really, really nice air purifier. So it has two filters that are on the inside, which you have to unpackage because they're packaged individually. And then you put those back in there. And then you put the second filter back in there. It was actually really easy assembly. So as you can see, there are six buttons on the top here and in the middle you have your display screen. It is all touch screen, so you just have to touch with your finger and it works and it's amazing. Here you can see it is on and it is on the lowest fan setting. Here we have the display option where you can turn your display screen on and off. We also have a sleep option, which makes it run really, really quiet, which it's quiet anyway. This is the lowest setting, but it can go even quieter and run really smoothly while you're sleeping if you want. That is what the sleep setting's for. It also has an auto option here where it basically tests your air quality like a sensor, and then it will run according to the air quality in the room that you have it in. So if we were to push it and turn that on, you can see blue is here is the air quality in my pet room. That basically means that the quality of my pet room is really good. So this is gonna run really, really low. Here is the manual that it comes with. You can see it says Lavoit. It does have a HEPA air filter in it. And it also has the model number listed at the top. As you can see, I do have the auto setting on right now, which shows that it's blue. As you can see, blue means my air quality is very good, so it will run really, really low on sleep mode. There are three other colors. There's red, which means your air quality is bad and it's gonna run really high. Yellow for moderate, so it'll run at a medium speed. Green, which is good, so it will run on low. And then, like we said, blue means very good. So right now, it is on blue. However, it would change according to the air quality in whichever room you have this sitting in but if you want to just run it even if the air quality is good you can turn that off and it will go right back to the automated setting on low this is the lowest speed option which is on but if you wanted to raise the speed and make it blow harder you can there's two and there's three so that's the hardest that it does blow and then it also has a timer here where you can set the timer and then you can go and it'll come on on its own or what have you. I really love the look of this air purifier. It's really sleek. I love that it's white and black. I love that it's touch screen. It's really easy to use. I'm just really impressed by the entire overall design of this purifier. You guys know that I've been thinking about getting a bird and birds respiratory systems are extremely delicate. You really have to make sure that you pay attention to the air quality in whatever room you keep your birds in. So that's why I was originally looking into getting a purifier in the first place. I looked at quite a few and this is actually the nicest looking one that I've found. Now while I obviously don't have my bird yet, I still want my air quality in my pet room to be good and I've had this running in here for quite a few days and I can tell you that I've noticed a huge difference. All of the bad air and toxins get sucked into here and then it runs through the two filters and the fan and then it comes out the top here. And I know that whenever I do get my bird, I won't have to worry about the air at all, so that's really nice. Since the first day I started using it, I could tell a difference after just a few hours, so I'm really, really impressed with it. I really can't say enough good things about this purifier. 
it works really really well and I highly recommend it if you guys are interested in this air purifier I will leave a link for you in the description down below I am in love with this air purifier Lavoie thank you so much if you guys are interested in this air purifier I will leave a link for it in the description down below I currently have it running in my pet room and I could not be happier with it okay without further ado let's get into the tour of all of my enclosures hope you guys enjoy all right so the first enclosure I want to show you guys is Koa's 75 gallon long reptile tank this is a 75 gallon reptile habitat by Tetrafauna, and this tank is absolutely amazing. It is four feet long, and I do believe it is 18 inches high, if I can recall. It does have dual sliding doors, so you just slide them open, and you can get in this way, and you can also slide that one open and get in down there. I do have a video setting up this entire tank for Koa, which I will link for you down below. All of the tanks and enclosures I'm going to show you today, I do have links for in the description down below if you guys would like to watch me set any of them up. As you can see, I have a box turtle set up in here with some vines, a hide, his water dish, his food dish, his basking spot, and then of course his moist eco-earth. Koa absolutely loves this enclosure. This enclosure is pretty pricey. It is also a little bit hard to find. I only know one reptile shop that actually carries it. And it did run me a little over $300, but it was so worth it. Koa absolutely loves it and he has plenty of room. He's enjoying some yummy worms right now, but he absolutely loves this enclosure. If you have anything like a skink or a bearded dragon, this enclosure would be perfect for them. It's 75 gallons, it's absolutely huge, and I really love it. The next enclosure that I'm going to show you guys is of course Moo Moo's. Moo is my dwarf hamster and she's in a 40 gallon breeder. I do have the dual hinge hood that has a lock on the end so that you can open up half of it at a time just to get in there and spot clean or feed her, get her out or anything. I absolutely love these hinge hoods. Obviously I have tons of food and treats on the top as usual but that's great because I can push all of that to the back and then the hinge hood opens in the front. I did get this 40 gallon breeder on the dollar a gallon sale however they have taken it off the dollar a gallon sale but I believe you can still get Get it for about $50. A 40 gallon breeder is well above the minimum of 450 square inches for a hamster. So if you have a hamster, I highly recommend 40 gallon breeder glass aquariums. I love my 40 gallon breeder and I highly recommend it. Next up, we have Lemon's new tank. As you guys know, I just upgraded Lemon into this new Exoterra. This is an 18 by 18 by 12 Exoterra and I absolutely love it. Lemon has been loving it as well. You can see her buried right there in the middle. This tank did cost me right at about $100. I did get it off of Amazon. If you have a Pac-Man frog, an adult or a baby, I absolutely love this tank. I really love that they have the front opening dual doors. As you can see, it opens up and there is plenty of room. I really, really love Exoterras. I think these tanks are perfect for amphibians and reptiles as long as you get the proper size. And if you guys would like to see the video of me unboxing this enclosure and setting it up, I will have that linked for you in the description down below. All right, the next enclosure you can see here is Bodhi, my crest to gecko and he is out and very active today. This is Bodhi's Exoterra. It's an 18 by 18 by 24 and that is the appropriate size for one adult crested gecko. I absolutely love Exoterras as I mentioned earlier. It also has the front opening glass which I'm not going to open because he will leap right out of there. He's very active today as you can see. He has been jumping and diving and everything. He's so silly. You guys may remember I did get this tank second hand used so I'm not exactly sure what it retails but I'm sure it's probably close to 200 $100. But yeah, if you have an adult crested gecko and you are needing a full-size enclosure, I highly recommend the Exoterra 18 by 18 by 24. I love this tank. Then of course we have my hermit crab tank. They are in a 20 gallon long with a hood light on top that opens in the front here. I love this tank. I think a 20 gallon long is perfect for two hermit crabs, depending on their size. Obviously, if they're massive, you wanna go bigger, but my hermit crabs are still pretty small, even though they are pretty old. I did just recently do a tank clean on this tank, which I will have a link down in the description if you're interested in watching that. But as you can see, I have their six inches of eco-earth. I have their two water bowls, their food bowl, all of their foliage, and lots of climbing stuff. So I really love this tank. A lot of people ask where I get my hood from. I did have to order the 20 gallon long hood light off of PetSmart.com, I do believe. It was either PetSmart or Petco, I can't remember. But I do know that this hood light is not sold in stores, so you do have to order it separate. Also, you can get this 20 gallon long tank for a dollar a gallon, so for about $20 during the dollar a gallon sale at Petco, that's where I got this one. Here is a view of the inside of the tank. My crabs absolutely love it. They've been so active. They love all the stuff that they have to climb on, so I really, really love this enclosure. But yeah, that's what I keep my hermit crabs in and I absolutely love this enclosure. I think it's perfect for them. Obviously, if you have more than two crabs, make sure to go up. You wanna give about 10 gallons per crab, but 
This is what I keep my two in and I absolutely love it. And last but not least, directly above the Hermit Crabs, we have Blue's Enclosure. Blue's Enclosure is a five foot long custom tortoise table or tortoise house. I have a full video on how we built this and sat it up, which I will also link for you guys down in the description below, along with all of the other enclosure tour links. This is basically what the top of the house looks like. As you guys can see, he has a basking spot where he is eating and he has his mercury vapor bowl. This enclosure was fully custom to fit Blue's size because he is five inches long, so he does require a five foot enclosure. This is a hinge lid that you can raise and then you have access to the inside. It's a really, really nice custom enclosure. We absolutely love it. And there is little Blue eating. He is absolutely precious and he is just a little nugget of joy. I love him. He is the most precious little dinosaur in the world. I just adore him. He just munching down on some weeds, his favorite thing in the world to eat besides hibiscus. As you can see, Blue's enclosure is absolutely huge. He has tons and tons of room. It's a really, really nice custom enclosure. I know he loves it and we love it, so it just worked out really, really nicely. But he typically sleeps underneath his log hide or in those vines over there. That's typically where he does sleep. And the rest of the time he just roams around, he sits in his water bowl. I'm shocked his water's clean right now because it's normally destroyed. He's just the sweetest little dinosaur ever and that is pretty much his custom enclosure. I hope you guys enjoyed. All right guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed touring all of my pet enclosures. If I missed any details and you guys have any other questions about any of my tanks or anything, feel free to leave a comment down below. A special thanks to Lavoie for sending me my new air purifier for my pet room. Now my pets have perfectly clean air and I am so grateful. I really love it. Seriously, the link is in the description if any of you are looking for an air purifier for your pet room. That link is in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.